the date today. Um, the Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, it is a great celebration. It's an honor for me to be here at Masfia. Um, and do a little bit of reminiscing. I do remember the day when uh, the great Dr. Martin Luther King was shot. I remember it. Why? My mother, a Holocaust survivor, Hasidic woman, uh, went through all the horrors of Auschwitz. She cried uh, the day he was shot. She also taught me and made me listen to the I Have a Dream spe speech at the time on the radio because it touched her so much because uh, she knew what it means. Um, just to illustrate the importance of people caring about each other and, and the need for people to feel other people's pain and what bothers them, just to illustrate a story that, I, that, that happened to me. My mother, uh, and she prayed for us all. Up in heaven. I'm sure she's smiling seeing her. She helped us be here during the hurricane Sandy. She came in here and she went to volunteer. But she's not here anymore with us. But I do remember she used to collect um, cl old clothing. Well, they're not old clothing uh, from uh, some rich people. They wore it once and mm. they dropped it off. Gently, gently, gently. We all learned today how how uh, uh, harmful it is for the environment. People who wear clothes as if it was disposable. But this is really what, what what's happening. Um, and my mother used to distribute clothing to all the friends, family. Some of them were very poor. But that was her thing in life. Yeah, right. One day, a family, uh, uh, a black family moved in in the back of our home. It was, at that time, we were from Canada, from Montreal. It was unusual. But my mother felt the need to go over to tell the lady, you're welcome. You are our neighbors. And after I distributed among my friends stuff that I can, would you enjoy uh, some kind? Of course, they made up a friendship. And that should have been that, right? But one day, I, w I was a 12-year-old boy going to synagogue for my evening prayers. And uh, as usual, and happens, unfortunately, quite common here, here in Brooklyn, even this beautiful uh, um, Jewish neighborhood, but it happens. Um, I heard the sound of, hi Hitler, hi Hitler. I was a young kid, right, 12 years old. What, what, what do we do usually? We just keep on walking and don't pay attention to it. All of a sudden, I keep screaming. I turn around and I see a black youngster wanted to choke that guy. Who was he? He was the neighbor. He was sticking up for me. He saw that. I told him, okay, he's not going to do it anymore. <laughs> he, he, he got his lesson. But what does it mean? It, it taught me a lesson in life. That when you're being attacked, we need other people, other neighbors to yeah. stick out and to feel and stop the hate. And, 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 it, and this is the same with me all the time. Uh, we have on our online activities, whatever. If, if uh, children are being separated from their parents at the border, put into camps, yes, they are camps. I protest. That's right. You can't be quiet. That's right, right. When you when you have <clears throat> discrimination, yes, people are being beat up. You have the story in Staten Island. I, I can't breathe. Yeah. That's why you speak up. Right. You can't just say you don't care. But it's not you. It, you, you. You can't have a thousand. That's the number that I see. A thousand. Innocent people shot to that. They're innocent. They're innocent because that's that's what the coroner said. That's what the investigation brings out. A thousand uh, people are shot by the police, and each one 
is justified, at least we should, we have to have people looking into things and taking things seriously and not being dismissive of so, that so much that's going on in our community. That's just my opinion that I would like to express. You know why I'm expressing it? Because my mother taught me so. That's right. So it's, I'm so glad of all the diverse people that are here. Uh, we don't have to agree on, uh, on everything. We, we for sure have different That's opinions. Right. That's right. But we sure need to care. Right. That's right. Just yeah. don't look the other way. So in honor of this day, it is, uh, I'm honored to speak here at uh, my son's institution, of which I'm very proud, and my mother was very proud of you, what you're doing. So glad for the, all the people who came here. I just want to add one thing. You know, sure. Your story. I just uh, I want you to know, just the hero of Jersey City. <laughs> uh, um, he got together with all the locals of all different communities and doing great things. So I'm, I'm honored to be his friend. <laughs> no, you, your, your story of Montreal reminds me, uh, reminds me of something. Now in the media, if you see, which you do, there's a lot of discussion about Jews and Blacks friction, and there's already articles um, analyzing what it, 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 it already implies that it's there, and, and we're ready to step of analyzing it, why and what and where. And as a matter of fact, as you, as you mentioned, I live in Jersey City, and I moved on into a predominantly um, African-American community, and this, this story that you mentioned is a story that I have every day. Like every city, when a mother ch um, sends out a child in the street, it's a city, she's afraid of crime, stuff. But when my wife looks at it and she sees my neighbors outside sitting around, should it be Jewish neighbors or black neighbors, she, she go, you're okay. What, and, and that actually happens. If, if someone tries to do trouble on my block, all my neighbors, like, we, we look out for each up, other. Look each other. And, and I, I visited Jersey City. I visited your community. And you remember, you walked with me. How many times did the locals stop us? So sorry, we 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 we're with you. Strangers just coming up to me because I look I look I, I look silly. But that's the story of Jersey City. It's not that's the story that's happening all around. The good people need to show yeah. and to be more visible, and we should really. And it's all gonna, only gonna, only going to work when you care for other people's pain. You can expect it. Other people should see your pain. And Thank that's you. the lesson for us all.